Hey, good morning. Um, it's not really morning. It's lunchtime. Um, you will probably be hearing the pitter patter of small feet behind me because my nephew and my son are playing. Sorry, I'm shaking the table, which is shaking the phone. Um, they're playing downstairs. So I wanted to just pop in. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, my business and um, do my face makeup. I have very rarely gone live on Instagram. I like to go live on Facebook. Maybe that's a 30 year old thing, but Facebook is kind of where I live my life and I try my best to bring Instagram into all that. And so I'm live on Instagram today doing my face. Um, I have no makeup on right now. I do have some milk moisturizer on that I used this morning. I'm going to do my face, and while I do that, I really want to talk about why cream. Why mascara is a cream makeup line. This is my artist palette, and these are the colors. And as you can see, these are creamy. These are not powders. So um, I just want to kind of talk about that a little bit while I go. So, um... You know, everybody's like used to, let's see, yeah, like a liquid foundations and um, powder, but not a lot of talk around cream. So I'm going to spray my face with this stay spray and use it kind of as a, a primer for my face. I'm just going to pat that in so it dries a little faster. Anyways, why cream? Um, so... Cream is great for all skin types, whereas when you're working with powder, you're working with liquid, um, you kind of narrow down your um, your options for your skin type. So um, powder will settle into lines and wrinkles. It'll kind of dry your skin out. So um, it is best to go in with... Um, a cream. Cream is not going to settle into your lines and wrinkles unless you put way too much. And in which case, you'll just kind of blot it out and re-blend it. I know I made lines and wrinkles there, but just to show you, it wipes so easily. So, um, speaking of wiping, that's one of the other advantages of the cream is that it's foolproof, you guys. You put it in the wrong spot, and it's no big deal because you just wipe it right off. But when you have a liquid, say you have a, a liquid foundation on, then you put a powder contour on top of that, and you mess up your powder, well when you wipe off your powder, you've just wiped off your liquid foundation, and then what? Then you have a hole in your face, and you have to kind of figure out how to go back and redo that area, and then nothing ever really blends right. I've been there. Like if you, and if you mess up your eye makeup, you know, you get it out here, and you're like, uh, oh. you mess up your winged eyeliner, and you want to wipe it off, and then all of a sudden you're your liquid foundation is gone and your powder that set it is gone and you're like, well, what do I do now? Hey guys, play in the basement, okay? You're being kind of noisy. Or go play outside. Okay, try not to break anything down there. <laughs> um, so, it's foolproof. If you make a mistake, it's easy enough to fix it. It's awesome. So you don't have to be a makeup expert to make this work. Ha, huh. made a joke. Um, so it's easy. It won't dry out your skin. It won't age your skin. Dry skin looks old, you guys. Um, so if you're used to having dry looking skin and it scares you to think about having any sort of dewy makeup look, I challenge you really to just, just try it. Just give it a try. You never know. Um, and if you put it on and you want it to be a little bit more matte in certain areas, then use a little setting powder, you know? And there's definitely aged skin. We need it to set in a few areas. If you wear glasses, you need it to set where your glasses touch your face and on your nose. So, um, that is a tutorial for another day. Um, so, yeah, it, it won't make your skin look old and dried out the way a powder will. And it won't slip all over your face the way a liquid will. So, a couple of advantages there. Okay. Um, no layers. Um, and it's like a second skin. So, how about that? So, a cream 
is truly like a second skin. The thing it's closest to is really a tinted moisturizer, but it's got coverage. So if you've been doing this whole mix my concealer with my tinted moisturizer for coverage thing and buying multiple products, just stop. Just save yourself. You can build this. See how that just got rid of my dark circles? That's awesome. Um, you can build this up. You can keep it nice and thin. You don't feel it. Let your face breathe. Um, it's amazing. It doesn't feel like you have a bunch of stuff on your face. So um, it won't change your texture or change the moisture of your skin either. So like we talked about, it won't dry your skin out. Well, it won't make your skin look extra oily um, unless you're using a primer that is going to wet your skin and really kind of bring the shine out, which the Sage Spray will sometimes do. I've noticed especially with my um, SPF Stay Spray, kind of does that. But um, what else? What else? What else? Why else do we use cream? Oh. Um, in terms of doing your makeup, say you're doing family photos, well the cool thing about this makeup is it won't reflect backlight. So often when you're using a powder, they'll put like some sort of SPF ingredients in your powder. And then when you get your picture taken, you have what's called a white cast. So I don't know if you've ever seen a celebrity um, at an event. I mean, I feel like by now they should know better too, but sometimes or even yourself, you've had your picture taken and your face looks so much whiter than the rest of you. And that's because there's a product inside your makeup that is causing what's called a white cast on your face. And you just basically see that SPF um, product on your face. You just don't realize it's there until a flash catches it. So you won't have that with this. What you do get with this is a nice Lit, with, lit from within kind of glow and that's because they give you um, the creams have a nice kind of warm undertone that really blend in with your skin tone so um, so that that's really nice I mean honestly who wants to look white in a picture when you know your skin doesn't look like that in real life nobody um, and then I'm going to show you how Oh, gosh, it's very noisy down there. You can probably hear them. Guys, stop yelling. You're inside. Um, okay, so the other thing about the cream is that it's not going to set, which is so wonderful, you guys. I know it sounds questionable, but by not setting, what it's doing is it's moving with your face all day long. So you smile, and right here, it's not going to, like, get stuck, and then you move, and all of a sudden, you can tell where it used to be. Um, so that's one of the great things about, hi, good afternoon, Stacy. Um, so that's one of the great things about the cream also. It won't, um, it won't set. But if you want it to set, like I was saying, where your glasses go, um, or in places that you feel like are really, like, trouble areas, then you can use, um, the, you know, the setting powder for that. So, and if it does, if you were using something that sets, like a, a powder or a liquid, and you really have those set in on your skin, they're going to get into your lines and wrinkles, one, and if you need to retouch your face at the end of the day, um, you're going to have to wash it off and redo it. You're not going to just be able to be like, oh, I need to add a little bit of extra contour, you know, now that it's 8 p.m. and I've gone from work to after work, um, you're not going to be able to just retouch under your eyes and anywhere because you've added powder on top you you just can't do it so you want it to be movable all day so that you can retouch it when you need to if you need to so um now i just want to talk to you a little bit about the versatility so i just did my um hack so that's my my contour my highlight and um, i have not done my blush or my eyebrows yet so um, I'm going to do those as I talk to you about the versatility of the makeup. So the cool thing is your contour, I like to use olive, but there's a few other more ashy colors. Um, I will show you if I can get it out of here. So this color, shadow, it's a nice ashy color. It works great for eyebrows if you, ha if you don't have dark, super dark eyebrows. Um, it works really great. If you have lighter eyebrows, um, I like to use ash. If you're more of a taupe color, as aspen, I think it's aspen, would work probably great for you. Let me pull that out. Aspen would probably work great for your eyebrows. So the cool thing about your contour is it is great for more than one 
thing. You don't have a ton of products hanging around. Um, in addition to that, you can use your contour as eyeliner, which is great. Sorry to talk and do your eyebrows at the same time, especially when you're looking on a phone instead of in a mirror. Probably should have planned that better, right? First time for everything. Okay, so as you can see, the contour works great for eyebrows, and then you could go over this with a um, a powder if you really wanted to, um, to set it if you wanted. Then, I'll just try to be quick about this. Not look like a crazy person though. Eyebrowless crazy person. See, this is what happens when you're a, in beauty school, you guys. You wax off all of your eyebrow. It's like a casualty. I think all of us have it that went to beauty school. Then eyebrows were in for a long time, right? Anyways, and if you get it too thick, like I said, it's foolproof. So, you just go in and you wipe it off. You can use, this is the multitasker brush. So I'm using the skinny side. We do have a brush specifically for eyebrows, but, um, and then you can use this side and you can dip it back into your foundation color and you can just make sure you got a nice straight line going on there and just do that. Okay. So, um, eyebrows for your contour. Then with your contour, you can also, um, plump up your lips. Yeah, um, I don't really need a lip plump, but I'm gonna show you how to do it anyway. So, I'm gonna go in. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, so you're just gonna go in and you're gonna just lightly shadow your lips. And no one's gonna be able to tell that you have made that contour you're gonna blend that in with your lip color but you want to put that there and just give your lips the illusion of you know of being a little bit bigger so now you've just seen the contour used for three things my actual contour, some lip contouring, okay, and you can use it as an eyeliner also. So you could just go here, do a quick eyeliner, and go over that with, say, coal or um, whatever eyeshadow color you want to and it will help that set and stay all day. It's so hard you guys to see um, in my phone. So, okay, so versatility of cream as you can see, amazing. Okay, but it's not all about the contour. You can also use your blush for a few other things. So I haven't done my blush yet so let me do that real quick. I'm going to go with Frenchie. Okay, that's my favorite blush, as you know, because I feel like I use it in every video. Um, put that right on my cheeks here, and then keep it up high to make sure I, I look lifted and not, you know, saggy and tired. Okay, but blush, multiple uses. So, your blush is going to work like a lipstick. You can put it on a brush, or you can Put it right on your finger and on your lips, okay? So, multiple uses for blush. There's one more. There's probably way more than one more, but there's one more I'm gonna go through here with you. And that is using it as part of your eyeshadow. Hmm, it's kinda tricky, because I wanted to do a little bit of eyeshadow with something else too, but I will show you. Okay, so you're just gonna 
use whatever brush um, and let's see I'm gonna use one of these other pink colors I'm gonna go in with Hollywood it's kind of a light pink I like to have a pink eye especially during this <laughs> it's funny I don't like to have a pink eye I like to have a pink eyeshadow <laughs> it's so great um, and I think it looks really young and fun okay so as you can see you can use your cream as an eyeshadow and um, if you've ever bought like Max uh, eye primer like you know for before eyeshadows those are cream you guys and they're also like really expensive <laughs> so you can use your creams that you own for your face makeup also for your eye makeup so see how it just kind of put a little bit of color on my eyes well the cool thing is now my eyes are going to provide a little bit of tack for any shadow that I also want to use let's say you don't want to use your blush that you're not into the pink undertones for your eyes so what I want you to do is use your illuminator so let's see rose gold honey how about honey honey is this beautiful gold color these um Although popularly we think of them as like, I'm going out on the town, I want my face to shine. You would put it here, right? And kind of blend that in. And then you just have like a little highlight to brighten your face. Well, you can use this as an eye primer also. So you're going to put a little bit on your finger and put that up here, right? On your brow bone. That'll just brighten it up. Kind of give you a little lift. Um, and say you, okay, hold on. Well, that's not coming off real great because it's a great product. But let's say you put a darker color on your lips. Let's see. I'm going to go in. Okay, oops. I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Okay, so let's say you put a darker color on your lips and you were wanting it to look more glossy or more daytime whatever it is. Just go in with your illuminator and brighten it right up. It's awesome. So you guys, they're cream. They're all cream. They're all made of the same thing, which is the, the cool part of this whole thing is that you have one palette for your whole face, but literally for your whole face. Okay, so you can use your, I mean, you can even put the highlight on your lips, you guys, if you really want like a nude lip or you need to bring your lip back down to skin color or you're trying to make an ombre where it's dark to light you can put some you know wheat or whatever color you put on your eyes I mean on your face on your lips also um so let's see yep I think we covered most of it so your highlights great um oh your highlight you guys for another thing so it's not just for your hack here um let's say you're um you're worried about your um, your eyelids. You have some veins showing through. Your skin's getting extra thin. You just can't get a true to tone eyeshadow. So what I want you to do is use your highlight color that you've put here. I want you to put that on your lid. And what that's going to do is cancel out any of the discoloration from any veins showing through. Um, and it's going to provide that tack for your eyeshadows also. So um, So try that. Try it. If you already have, if you have four things in your palette, use your highlight color um, for, you know, your highlight and to smooth out any discoloration on top of your eyes. Use it for um, changing the color of your blush, which you put on your cheeks and on your lips. Just, you know, try a few different things out. It is versatile. That is the very best, where is my eyeliner, um, the very best, best thing about creams. So I hope that that gives you kind of an idea of why cream is awesome, um, why you should try it, and how you can use it other than just in your 30 second hack. Um, so if you guys have any questions or anything, feel free, shoot me a message. Um, if you are thinking about wanting to try this makeup, but also if you are thinking you want to be your own boss, also, you guys, um, my team, which is amazing, amazing, 
is doing a beauty school soon, you guys. And they're going to teach you everything you need to know about the makeup so that you can teach other people what they need to know about the makeup. If you want to be a part of that, now is a wonderful time to get into it. Um, because you will learn so much, you will not feel like an amateur doing, um, you know, makeovers on people. You will feel like you, you know what you're doing. You know how to do it. And you can teach people to do it. So, I'm, I hope I didn't miss anything. I hope you really got the idea of how versatile the products are. Uh, and that's it. I know this was hopefully not too long. But... Um, I hope you guys have a beautiful, wonderful day. I want you to remember, as always, whether you're wearing makeup or you like your bare face, you are gorgeous. That's the way you are. Um, and you should do you. Just wear it the way you want to wear it. You don't have to wear it the way I show you. You don't have to wear it the way someone else shows you. You don't have to wear it at all. Just be you and enjoy it. Thanks, guys. Have a beautiful day, and I will see you next time.